Hi YouTube, this is Loyal to Law once again and in this video that I'm going to make, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the hip rotation and explain the use of the hip rotation and to show you the difference of doing a technique with the hip rotation and without the hip rotation and some little bit of explanation on weight shifting as well. Now, for the explanation part, Hip rotation is found in most of the martial arts that we know today, if not all of the martial arts. And yes, that includes boxing. For those of you who are arguing that boxing is not a martial art, you can just email me in this side and to and so that I can explain to you why it is. Now, hip rotation is found in most of the martial arts because a lot of the martial artists that discover the importance of hip rotation discover that the upper body can only do so much and give you so much power, so much strength, and so much energy for you to do techniques. You can do or you can give 110, 150, even 200 percent when you're using your upper body. But you can only do so much damage to your opponent that your opponent is still standing and you're going to say, what? Why is he still standing? I already gave it my all. Well, not all, actually. If you include hip rotation in your techniques, which I'm going to do later, hip rotation gives you that boost of strength or boost of power that your upper, that your upper body doesn't have for you to do the technique with that proper or stronger oomph, as per se. And so to demonstrate the hip rotation, as I back off a little bit here, <clears throat> you'll notice that I'm dressing a bit goofy. And the reason why my shirt is tucked on my shorts because so that all of you viewers out there, especially those who are uh, beginning or just beginners of martial arts styles or disciplines, <clears throat> will not be confused with my shirt being hanged out and for you to see the design on the side of my shorts as well. So, If I move my midsection, as I fold my arms here, for you to see my midsection very closely. As I move from side to side, you'll notice that the design on my pants or shorts is keeping up with my movement. And I'm not rotating my hips. I'm just moving my upper body. If I include the hip movement or hip rotation, very slight, you'll notice that the design on my pants or shorts is a bit being left behind and it's trying to catch up with my movement. Now for a sharper hip rotation, it's totally different from the first. This is without hip rotation, as I show once again. This is with using your hips slightly. There's already a huge difference there. But a bigger difference with, the sh with is the sharper hip rotation, which is going to be like this. The design of my pants on the side is now almost totally left behind. And as you can see as well, if you can, the string in the middle is also trying to keep up with my movement, but it's also being left behind. As I try to catch my breath here. It's hard to talk when you're rotating your hips that sharp. When you have that kind of sharpness in your hip rotation, that means you're also delivering uh, the force or the extra needed power or extra needed boost of strength that you need on your upper body or, or in your techniques. And the sharper your hip rotation, the faster the force that you're going to that's going to be brought to the technique that you're going to do and whoa I mean that's cool wow nice nice hip rotation but how do I do that 
I mean, what's, what are the basics? Now, the basics is doing what the dancers are doing. What? Dancers? Am I hearing... Is my hearing good? I mean... Dancers. Yes. I know that the hip rotation of the dancers is not really that included in martial arts but if you're going to notice and really observe carefully you'll you'll see that the hips of the dancers especially ballroom dancers are really really good and the basics of doing that is doing what they're doing so as i demonstrate here backing up you can oh before i start uh, demonstrating Please do warm up stretching exercises first. Warm up exercises. Warm yourself up first before doing these kinds of exercises or doing these kinds of techniques because if you don't, you're going to injure yourself. I assure you that. So, yeah, that's a very, very stern warning, but that warning will help you in the long run. I promise you. If not, sue me. So, basics is. You can just switch from leg to leg. Or you can just look at the design of my pants. See? Like so. That's the basic. The second basic is doing kind of like a faint step. Imagine so as you're doing a step from the side, like so, like here, you're taking a huge step. Now try to imagine that you're going to take a huge step, but you're hesitating to take one. So what happens is you're rotating your hips and your foot is being left behind on the floor. Now, <clears throat> as you do this, you're shifting your weight from the lifted leg to the leg that's just close to the floor or the leg that's still to the floor. See? So if you take a step, it'll be like this. But if you hesitate, what happens is you just rotate your hip and lifting your leg, but you're not taking a step. See? Now to show the difference between doing a technique without a hip rotation and a technique with a hip rotation. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do one kind of martial art technique and that is the elbow strike. As I do an elbow strike here, so I adjust myself. This is just me using my upper body, my arm my shoulders, and a bit of my torso here. Not my waist, just my torso. See? That's already a very painful technique when you apply it to your opponent. But there's a huge difference with just using your upper body, as I said before, with using the hip rotation. Now, that's without a hip rotation. With using a hip rotation, it's totally different. This the upper body. This is with a hip rotation. See? Upper body. Hip rotation. So that's the huge difference and why hip rotation is really important in all the martial arts. So I hope that helped you and if not, uh, please email me if I should make another video about it so that I can further explain about it since I can only make a 10 minute video. Sorry. So God bless you all. Please practice safe and be blessed.